What is up, everyone? This chair's really spinny. What is up, everyone? Um, I might have not neglected this tank, but not been paying full attention to it. So, um, let me show you what I mean. Right, so this tank isn't that bad, but you know when you get a shiny new toy and your old toy's a bit rubbish? Essentially, that's what's happened. I've been doing water changes on it, I've been feeding them, but now looking at it and looking at it this evening, it's not as good as it was. I think I stopped putting like regular plant food in there. So a lot of the leaves, like the older leaves are dying back and there's just not as much new growth as there was. Oh, I think there was a spider on me. Anyway, oh, he's still there on my ear. Hang on a minute. Right, I'm back, de-spidered. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so I've not like majorly neglected it. I've still been doing water changes on it. I've been cleaning the filter, so on, so on. But I've, like I say, not been looking at the bits and pieces and the nitty gritty. A lot of the crypts now have got not as much new growth coming through. So this tank needs an overhaul. Not a massive one. It's, you know, not too bad, but I need to chop some leaves back. I need to clean the filters. Or do I? No, that was last week. So no, I've cleaned the filter. So yeah, really, I just need to give it a good chop back. All this floating plant, I don't know if you can see it. All of this is actually, um, it's sprigs of Ceratopteris. Get off, don't bite me. Uh, there we go. I think it's called like water wisteria or something. Dropped my phone. Can you focus on that, please? And it's got roots growing off of it, but it was a few little sprigs that I put in from the live bearer tank and then they've rooted and they've started growing. So yeah, I need to take all of that out and I just need to tidy everything up. So I thought I'd bring you along for the journey on mega maintenance session on this tank. Oh, actually, while I've got you, I wanna show you the mirror scapes quickly. I'm not gonna show you the full scapes. What I wanna do is I wanna show you the floating plants on them that I put on. Right, so just a quick glimpse. This is the non-fertilizer tank, so you can see it's doing okay. We've got a few plants, the floating plants is there. It's doing all right. We've got a few babies in there, but not too many. Um, and then um, this is the fertilizer tank. Um, yeah, there are tons of babies in there. Not giving you a full update though, but there are hundreds of babies. So I've got to actually harvest this because the roots are just insane. So yeah, um, again, plant food versus no plant food. Uh, plant food wins. But anyway, back to the tank that we're talking about. Now the other job that I've got to do, have I moved? Maybe. The other job that I've got to do is the FX2. Um, I shouldn't have put you back on the tripod. Hang on, let me take you off. Yeah, so the other job I need to do is the FX2. Now that is where my Oh, what was it? Biomaster Thermo 600 used to live. Um, because this is the Oasi tank cabinet with the pull-out drawer. Get away. Um, so you can put your filter on that. Now, I did have the Biomaster in there. Now, I've got the FX2 in there. Now, I didn't cut the piping just in case I did want to ever move it. And today is that day. It needs to go from there to there. Because I want the filter pipes there and there, not coming out the end like that. Because I have got one filter on here now, that Biomaster moved over to the live bearer tank. So now I've just got the one filter running on here. I'd quite like to move that one back into its actual cupboard. Not too sure how well this is gonna deal with FX2 weight. Mm, seems quite strong. We'll have a see. So first things first, we're gonna give it a little water change. Like I say, major filter maintenance was done only a couple of weeks ago. So not too bad on that front. But yeah, we do need to give it a water change. I'm gonna get in amongst this plant. I'm not gonna use a gravel cleaner this time. I'm just gonna use a tube so that I can sort of, yeah, get in amongst the plants and actually get some of that sediment out of between it. Um, but first, before actually water changing, there's no point in water changing unless I've wiped down the glass on the inside. Because obviously if I wipe down the glass afterwards, all that algae is gonna stay in the tank. Whereas if I wipe down the tank now, that will get siphoned out. So we've got to do that. Now I have got some new, Oh, that drawer won't open. Hang on a minute. I've got some new algae sponges. There they are. So I've got these bad boys. Um, so these are some new algae sponges from NT Labs. Ah, oh, 
just threw that on top of that chest of drawers and it fell down behind. Anyway, I've got these guys. Um, they're really good actually because like, you know those blue ones that you get for the aquariums or even if you use those, um, like the dish sponges, you know, the yellow ones, they go bobbly and horrible. And then sometimes I find like bobbly bits of like fur in the bottom of the tank where they've fallen off when I've been cleaning. These do not. Um, they don't break up. They're like a weird rubbery sort of sponge. They're really good though. Um, so anyway, not talking about sponges. Uh, let's crack on and get some algae done. Algae done? We call it algae in the shop, see? We call it, let's get the algae done. That doesn't make sense, does it really, when you think about it? Let's clean off some algae. When I first saw these sponges, I thought they were just like, oh, that's another algae scrubber cleaner thing. But actually these are different. Um, keep wobbling it. Blah, 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 blah. Um, sorry, intrusive thoughts. Uh, yeah, they are different. They're like, I don't know, like you get that horrible green spot algae on the glass. Normally I use like a blade, like a sharp algae scraper to get that off. This takes it off. Um, so yeah, they are like amazing little things. That's the algae done. So. Um, now for the water change. Now that that's all done, I'm actually gonna clean the filter out. I've gotta move it from one cupboard to the other. So what's the point of moving it from a cupboard to a cupboard if I don't clean it? It just makes sense, doesn't it? I think the next job is to get the filter out. I'm gonna leave the water level down a little bit whilst we uh, get that out. Oh, do I trim plants back first? Filter first or plants back first? I think the filter's gonna be a pain job. So uh, let's do something enjoyable and let's uh, go through and sort out some of these plants and cut them back quickly. That was a really good session of cutting back. There still might be more in there that I need to cut back, but I think that's the majority of it. We've taken a lot of the big old dirty leaves off that are breaking down and sort of got holes and rips in them. Oh no, that's a root from the Monstera. Wow, that's humongous. Anyway, um, I'm gonna drain a bit more water out because I've seen a few more pockets of detritus now. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of that. I've actually planted, you know that water wisteria shoots that I was showing you at the start? Hopefully I left that in the video. Um, I'm actually plopped them in a couple of locations, so we'll see if they grow. They'll probably start growing and then the festive cichlids will probably demolish them. Uh, hang on. Found another dodgy leaf. So yeah, let's get another couple of buckets drained out of it so that we can uh, just get this last detritus out and then we've got to move the filter. Effort. can't wait. There's a shelf that goes in here and I actually can't wait to get it back in because like all my foods and liquids and things like that normally lived on that shelf and uh, yeah since removing it for that filter it's been really annoying. I had a towel just a minute ago. Oh, it's over there. Ah, got it. Just wipe that off and that off and that off. Right. Right, so let's find the plug for this filter. I can't wait to get the shelf back in here. It's gonna be great. Um, what is that that's unplugged? Mm, bit of a worry. Oh no, you know what that is, that's fine. Uh, Fluval is probably that? No, no, that was the light. Damn it. Right, we're back. Um, that was the light, so that must be. Second time lucky. We are good. For how recently I cleaned this out, it is super mucky. Like, this has caught a lot of waste. Um, 
yeah, let's get on with this and try and get this finished. I just had a thought. I'm going to put some activated carbon in. Um, I'm just going to fill that basket with activated carbon. I can't remember how much this pot treats. I think it's like five, 600 litres. 500 litres. So about half this pot's going in. Um, oh, it comes with its own little filter bag as well. That's nice. Yeah, let's get some of this in because that'll help with that staining in the water. Also, I forgot to say, always rinse carbon. It's very dusty. So yeah, don't ever put it in your aquarium without rinsing it in tap water first. Now you might not be able to see them because they are actually hidden under this monstera leaf. So these are the two pipes that I've got to get out um, without, oh my word, there's too many things up on here. Let's get some of this out of the way. Food pot, that, 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 right. So yeah, we're gonna take these off because we've got to drain the water out of these because otherwise when I remove these, everything's gonna get very wet and it will drain my tank onto the floor. So. Uh, yeah, let's get all these taken apart so we can actually clean it and uh, get it drained of water. Now that I've got those pipes up out of the water, I should be able to just open up these. Which way did that go? Like that. Yes. And that will drain all the water out of that pipeline. So that way I can remove these pipes without worrying about getting water all over the floor. Or, well, any more than I normally do anyway. So uh, let's get that one drained. Right. Perfect. Right, that's those pipelines drained of water. Now to get them out. So I actually just had a thought, while I've got these pipes off the aquarium, I might as well give it a clean. So I've got my spring brush that, um, yeah, you can just thread down through the pipelines, like so. And it will clean all of the muck out of the pipe work. So uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna quickly do that and just see how much muck comes out of these. I don't think it'll be a great deal, but at least I know then when I'm putting it back on, it will be clean as I can get it. That is both pipes cleaned. Um, there is actually quite a bit of muck that came out of them. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but he can look, there it is, all of that gunk. So all I'd done was after I'd run the brushes down through them, I just got a jug of water, one end of the pipe in there, and then poured the water down through the pipeline so that all that muck came out. So yeah, that's not too bad. That's uh, a fair amount of waste. So hopefully everything is clean now. Uh, that is not, but still, let's get the filter back up and running on there. Uh, we're good to go then, aren't we? Right, so that is the piping cleaned. The piping has been relocated, so I've got my inlet to the filter down here and my outlet into the tank down there. We are good to go, I think. With using these, what you'll find is that, hopefully, when I turn the filter back on, no gunk should come into the aquarium. Ah, oh, that is wet. Dry off your tools before you put them back in the cupboard, because otherwise they go horrible and gunky and nasty. And Yeah, anyway. Let's uh, turn the filter back on and see how much waste comes back into the aquarium. Because you know, like when you turn your filter on, it goes and it pumps all that brown gunk into the aquarium. That's in theory what that should stop because there should be no muck in the pipelines. But uh, let's see how true that is. Right, so the filter outlet is sort of somewhere here. Um, so you should see it once I turn it on and plug it in. I hope this is the right plug. Yes. tiniest amount which might have been picked up from the gravel because I can see a load of stuff swirling around now look so it's picking it up off the rocks look right cool that's it I'm gonna need to do another water change all that's left is to top the tank up which irritatingly my hose pipe is uh, out of action so this is gonna be a bucket job there's only what six buckets seven buckets so I think it'll be okay uh, but yeah unfortunately buckets it is what I'm gonna do is I'll get it topped up, I'll let it settle for a day or two, and then I'll bring you guys back to see exactly how the tank has sort of come back and how clean it looks after the big cleaning session. So uh, yeah, I'll see you in a few days. And just like that, we are back. So tank's been a couple of days now, I think, since you last saw it on the video, and it has cleared up absolutely lovely. Really, really nice. It's a little bit cloudy, maybe. Yeah, maybe, oh no. 
I've left loads of watermarks on the glass. We'll sort that out in a minute. Um, so what's it been? Yeah, a couple of days. Sorry I'm not on the tripod, in all honesty. I might have left it in the car. I can't remember where it is, but I've been filming with MD all day, moving some fish tanks and stuff. So yeah, it's been a bit of a uh, rush day. So uh, let's get into it anyway. Let's um, go through the tank and show you how it's looking now after that mega maintenance session. So it is looking fantastic. Um, yeah, just like cleared up really nice. Not too sure if I like this floating plant yet. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I'll tell you what I don't like is all these watermarks on the gr glass. Uh, I bet you my glass cleaner's upstairs. I haven't put my shelf back in yet. I still have done. <gasps> glass cleaner. Winner. Uh, oh, I'm going to need to go get the tripod. This is a two-handed job. Right, let's go get the tripod. Right, let's get these watermarks gone because then I know that in editing I'll be able to see all the watermarks. So uh, yeah, this is this is NT Labs new glass cleaner actually. It smells amazing and it's completely safe for the fish. I wouldn't obviously go pouring the whole bottle in, but it does work out well. And also branded cloth for the win. Check that out. Oh, that's so much better. That's going to get rid of all of those. Uh, you don't need to watch me doing this, do you? Come back in a minute and I'll show you how clean it is. Check that out. That is so much better. Right, now let's show you what's going on with the tank. Right, so where was I? Yeah, floating plants I stole out of the mirror tanks. Uh, the roots are so, so good. Like just those trailing roots. I reckon the festives are probably going to sort those out though. And they'll all be really short in a week or two. But with the rate it's growing on the mirror tanks, that's absolutely fine. I don't mind that at all. We can just replenish them as we want to. So the uh, Amazon sword. Yes, I know. Like I do like these festive cichlids, but they do seem to like the camera. The Amazon sword has taken an absolute hammering. Obviously, I've got rid of probably six or seven leaves, but if everyone gets out of the way, you can see those nice new red ones starting to come through. So once they burst through, that sort of plant should look really fantastic again. We've taken a lot of the crypt leaves back so that it's just left with these sort of nice, shiny new ones, or newer ones, I suppose. Hopefully, they'll bounce back even further and we'll get a load of new growth now especially once I start reusing all of that plant food in this tank that I had sort of slowed down on really. As you can see, there's still a little bit of green spot algae on some of the uh, Anubiuses. That should clear up and we should again get some nice fresh growth coming through that will help sort of battle that and keep it at bay. If you've made it this far into the video, well done. You are a true fan. <laughs> um, you've listened to me waffle for probably the best part of 15 minutes. But anyway, don't know what's coming next, as always. We'll see where the world takes us and see what comes up. But uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.